Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Shout out to each and every one of you for being here, sharing your most precious asset with me, and that is your Tom Bay Bay. On the Monday morning live stream. Bang, bang. Shout out to everybody here on the live. Thank you for jumping on in. Appreciate each and every one of you for being here, sharing your most precious asset with me, and that is your time. Did you work out today? I did. Ooh, got to get that top button. This is not Miami. This is Cape Cod. <coughs> Excuse my coughing here. Get the lemon into the water. Let's take a big sip of water. Let's stay hydrated. I worked out today. I pumped my chest up. I pumped my biceps up. I pumped up my shoulders. I feel amazingly strong. And I pushed myself. The, the workout was so hard, it got me going. I felt like I couldn't even finish. I was pushing myself to the limit. And if it's not a hardcore workout, it's just not for me. Look at the wind blowing in the side there with the beautiful right there, uh, right here, the wind blowing in. You got to love the fresh air in the country. Shout out to everybody here on the live. Let's get down to brass tacks. Let's talk about it. Let's break it down. Shout out to everybody here on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Um, one of the most beautiful Memorial Day weekends I can remember. And my whole family's together, you know, definitely missing my father. Uh, but what are you going to do? You know what I mean? It is what it is. I have to deal with it today. And it is what it is. Shout out to everybody here on the live. Thank you for jumping on in. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. And um, we go through these times, right? And we go through the, some of the toughest times in our lives. And we must remain strong. The toughest times in your life will make you the strongest. I firmly believe that. And it's not easy as we run into the markets on this beautiful Monday morning. Got one of the highest gainers on KuCoin this, today, which was high birds. We're going to talk about that, how we looked at it, how we were able to find the move to the upside. And not that we just show, shove gains in your face. We try to show you how the gains were made so you can back engineer that idea and keep it moving. Shout out to the beautiful souls in the live. Thank you for being here. Let me pop out that chat, see what's crack a lacking. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How's everybody on this beautiful Memorial Day? A lot of people are going to tap out on Memorial Day. They're going to be with their family. They're not going to be watching YouTube. So if you're a YouTuber right now, your views are down. Take a deep breath. I've been through this multiple times. It is what it is. Ma Barley already with the 199 Super Chat starting it off with Velo. Got to get ready to go. So sign up to the trading group today. God bless Axcap. Jumping on in. Crypto Bear Baker. Love is the strongest frequency. Health, hope, faith, belief, discipline, confidence, devotion, love, truth, clear vision, abundance, and union is my wish for you all. Shout out to Creators Crypto in the game. And you got to have the discipline. Without the discipline, nothing else matters. Uh, the, the, my ability to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want is the discipline. Keep watching the live at the gym. Gain on gains. Just bought my first Labradite stone yesterday. Shout out to my man, Crypto Father of Three. God bless you with the Labradite. All right. And I showed you here in the pin messages. If you want to join the trading group, hit the link to the Discord right away or go to CryptoLifer.com. CryptoLifer.com or go to the Maxi link here and join Maxi. Both of those help out the trading group, but I'd like you to join the trading group so you can see the uh, see what's going on. And we mainly trade on Mexi and KuCoin. Uh, we're going to talk about the biggest gainers in both those exchanges today. So we look at KuCoin markets right off the bat. This coin, Obi, or Bofi AI, is up 400% to $0.04. Cents. This thing went from a cent to $0.04, cents, banging on them to the upside. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you and yours for doing that. 189 on the super chat. Thank you very, very much. All right. If you take notes every day in the lives, back test what you learn. Join the 99 and you'll be in the game. Shout out to Cesar Cordero every time, baby. Best group of the game. I'll be joining on Wednesday. Shout out to Tito Gaines in the house. God bless you, man. And we talked about Lena making some gains. We talked about Highbirds making some gains up 19% here on KuCoin. Highbirds, one of the bigger gainers in the market. Banging on him. Velo up 18%. He wants to act. He, and someone's already asking about Velo right now. Market cap, $17 million starting to grow starting to grow all right and then mexi our favorite place to trade as well mexi and you can look at the markets on mexi zero spot maker and taker fees i don't know how much longer they're going to do this they're going to get real popular and i'm telling you right now they're going to pull those they're going to pull those fees back to the upside it's only a matter of time right now um so take advantage while you can i'm dcaing on the low and this is when most people want to dca it's interesting that they have the lowest fees when the dcaing it's like it's a match made in heaven i never got that when i had to dca in all my other bear markets i had to pay fees so the Mexi token, we're going to talk about that. I do hold a bag of that. The three hour, 24 hour high was three dollars. The low is 293. It's sitting at 298. This thing looks like it's coming with 2.3 million dollars in volume. Only the time will tell. Bitcoin up 27,900, banging on them to the upside. Pepe showing some signs of life as it's holding these levels. We're going to break all this down for you today. We're going to give you all the knowledge you need to continue to proceed. 
Um, and look, they even have OBI up 400% too. So it was up on both exchanges, Mexi and KuCoin battling for the money. But they have the high, they have the lower fees here. Spot 0%, future maker 0%, taker. What's a maker and a taker? A maker is a limit order, simply put. Uh, a taker is when you mark it in. All right, so if you limit in, pay zero fees on your futures and spot trades. Spot, I believe it doesn't even matter. You may even be able to mark it in on spot, and I believe you're going to be completely fine. Zero fees either way. So things to think about. Things to think about. I was looking at this ADX coin, shoulder, head, and a shoulder. I know nothing about it, but the one hour is low, and it's approaching this trend line. I can see this thing do damage to the gap of the VRVP to the upside. ADX is on the radar. Low cap gems. If you're new and you only have a few hundred bucks, low cap gems are the way to turn 100 into 500. Okay, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't think I say Andrew should be taking his financial advice, but I'm just breaking it down for you. My man wants Dion protocol. He wants magic. He's coming hard with the mini super chats. God bless you, Ma Barley in the house. Thank you for splitting them out. I appreciate that. All right. And shout out to everybody here on the live. Let's get the likes up to the watchers. Bang, bang, bang. 316 people on the live stream already. We just got started. That's amazing. Ooh, I'm tweaking a little bit. Let me bring down that level on the gain on that microphone who here knows how to rock microphones who here was in studios for years i was i love it i love it i love it i used all the things that i've done in my past to break it down so look this is a shoulder a head and a right shoulder bounce bounce a higher low you have a low you have a high you have a higher low you're looking for that higher high above 16 cents and 16 16.99 really and there's a gap of the vrvp i could see a 10 percent gain coming for this move um i was in high birds personally i want to just talk about the trade break it down show you kind of what happened and how much gains were had because it was a pretty beautiful trade. Uh, it's fallen out of grace right now after they've redone, but even Velo and Lena starting to make a move. I talked about Velo earlier today, went over it. What are you doing to me now, Trading View? You're playing games over here? Playing games. And we don't need Fiat Leak anymore. All right, reload that site. We'll start taking off the things that are bogging us down here. And, you know, also my Twitter feed trying to play that can get in the way too. So we'll get that out of the way. Um, but wow, TradingView hasn't done this to me ever in a while. So look, I'm looking at Bitcoin. We're going to break this down in a second. Get excited for Bitcoin. Inject the protocol up 20% gains. I've been talking about it on the three-day chart. It's my go-to time frame. I love the three-day. And you can see we've already bounced closely off of some nice Fibonacci levels. We're holding the 0.5 fib. I could see a massive move coming for this to the upside. You also have a flat zone on the RSI, almost a downtrend, and you have an uptrend here. That is a hidden bullish divergence. Tells you the trend will continue to the upside. This thing's been hot. We got in at 178, 150, and it ripped all the way to 985. It's been in its own little bull run ever since. Injective protocol, and it's the main swap too for Co for Asmo, uh, Adam and Cosmos. I was going to call it Adam. Atmos, but Adam and Cosmos. Adam, one of my long-term holds, a coin that I truly believe in and absolutely love to as well. So I believe Injective Protocol can make some massive gains. You can see it's already poking out a little bit there. You just see the size of that. That's just a nice flag right there. And we're starting to get that move on the three-day chart with the momentum coming. You had falling volume with falling price. A, a reversal is on the way, in my humble opinion. I could see Injective Protocol back up to 1488. Not too long from now, I'm expecting a double up. All right, from where we first looked at it down here in this level, about 152% gains, already up 18% on, on, on in the, the last couple of days. So, Injective has been on the radar for a monster, monster move. We talked about Lena in the trading group this morning. I put it out to my trading group. I liked it. I looked at it. I saw it in a bit of a flag. This thing has been mooning. Let me show you the flag on the 15-minute that I was looking at. And it's not up amazingly well, but it's up a nice 5%. I mean, that's a scalp city. In the regular markets, 5% is a doozy, all right? That's up 6.37% since put it out in the last about an hour. That's four 50-minute candles. Four times 15 is 60, baby. That's one hour. Oh, high ODBS was put out by my trading group. My elite traders were looking at it. And you can see just here, it was in tight in the channel. Once things get tight, there was a shoulder, head and a shoulder there. This thing started to make a bit of a move to the upside too as well. So that's interesting to me. And again, not every single thing I post is going to play out, but the majority of them are because we base it off technical analysis, which actually has a win rate, all right? Like, that's a, basically a bull pennant. You know, it looks kind of symmetrical, but then you take the length of your pole, that's where you're supposed to go, and that's exactly where we went on a wick. This thing made a massive move. Shout out to my elite trader. Shout out to Sean. I believe it was Sean banging on him for 21% gains out of high ODBS, all right? And Velo, who could have forgot our Velo move right here? 
I talked about Velo in this little flag last night, was mentioning that Velo could make a serious gain to the upside, and Velo up a beautiful 21% gain, and I would be taking some profits here on Velo, depending. Let's take a look at our four-hour time frame. Four-hour time frame says there's just more coming. That's just getting started. So I'd look for flags on smaller time frames, but Velo banging on them to the upside. And this is, these. I mean, we are starting to get busy. This is like a bull run again. Starting to see some crazy movement um, all, over the, all over the guard, right? And so if you were in my trading group yesterday at 8 p.m., you would have gotten this Velo setup looking beautiful, all right? And this is before, right? Velo ready to rock on the two-hour time frame. I could see it pushing up. It looked beautiful to me. You flip to that two-hour, and you can see in six, I mean, that thing just mooned. And we put it out last night at 8.40 p.m. You'd wake up into gains this morning, ready to rock. This is what people get in the trading group, all right? Also, I teach hidden bullish divergence. Swing down to swing down. Well, this is swinging to the upside. That is hidden bullish divergence. And that played out exactly as it was supposed to. Hidden bullish, one of the most powerful things that I use to trade over and over again. And you touched the 21-day moving average. Yesterday, I went over the five secrets of trading cryptocurrency. I talked about the 21-day moving average, how important it is. A lot of that went over a lot of people's heads. I get it. But you got to pay attention if you can. You got to at least start kind of picking up what I'm putting down. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to figure it out. Also, Velo in the giant cup and handle as well. I see a major move coming for Velo back up to one and five and a half a penny, one cent and a half a penny. This thing can rip to the upside. So I'm just saying, um, I see the bigger picture and then I break down the smaller picture. So I look at the three day, the daily. Then I'm also looking at the two day. You look at the bigger picture, make sure the bigger picture is okay. Then use the smaller time frames to enter into trades. All right, I was taught well, all right? This is something that is common sense to me, but it will take you time to figure out. And you can see we're up 26% gains in Velo to the upside. You can't beat this type of analysis on a daily basis, and I don't take a day off. So not only do I have the skill, some people have the skill as me, but they don't work as hard as me. They're not here every single day grinding. They aren't constantly feeding you what you need. They aren't constantly here 24-7, basically, banging on them to the upside. So remember... You can have all the skills you want, but if you can't develop what's called discipline and consistency and hyper-focus, we are going to blaze right past you and your trading group. It just is what it is. Think about it. People are taking your money or you're taking their money. you got to be sharper than the crowd if you want to be at the head of the class. It just is what it is. Let's talk about hybrids, which had a massive pump on a wick all the way to about 9, 8, almost 10. And we started putting out hybrids when it was just in this falling wedge down here in this area here. I started talking about it when it was at 3.5, all right? And if you look at 3.5 from where we're at right now, I mean, that is a beautiful gain of 143% gains ever since about May 25th. I mean, you can't beat this type of movement. This is beautiful. Then I even put out this little flag here at pump, put out another flag, it pumped out of that flag to the upside. I was personally in this trade, made monster gains, moved on. I sold into this wick and moved in. I went to work out. I was waiting the whole time to watch the setup right when the 9 a.m., uh, opened up and the market started to flip this thing got busy to the upside so shout out to everybody here on the live hi my name's sam price i'm a cryptocurrency trader who trades every single day of his life come join me get your collar up get ready to go we're going to take you through the trades every single day we're here for you you're here for me i'm here for you keep showing up keep hitting that like button keep being consistent with me and your life is going to change your first part of consistency showing up and hitting that like button let me know how you're doing Shout out to the 797 and Super Chats. God bless you. All right. Link in the comment section below if you want to join my cryptocurrency trading group, which teaches you also, not only did it teach you how to trade, uh, they don't look half as good as you either. Shout out to John Thomas for the $2 Super Chat. God bless you, brother. Lifer with the gain. Shout out to Lifer Adam. Shout out to Jamie. And again, today, I want to talk about something that's very, very interesting that we've been working on here in the trading group for a while. All right. And uh, it's a call to action. It is what it is. So what I want to talk about is, um, uh, yeah, um, okay. And team members on the community post, you know what the alpha will drop there. Uh, so here's the deal. You can finally join my trading group as a member on YouTube. And I'm, you, it, So we started adding a members only section here on YouTube. If you want to support us, you can join in and become a member of the YouTube channel. Just like Zeno said, welcome to Exclusive Lifer. Welcome to Exclusive Lifer. So Creators Crypto did it. My man Jamie Zeno did it. And it, I believe it's like $3.99 a month. And what we'll do is we'll do a private live stream here and there for just the members. We'll break down things for you. We'll give you some unseen content, secret content that won't be there. You also get emojis that other people don't have access to. You'll get noticed in the chat 
as well. So you'll get more notice in the chat. I will shout you out. Shout out to all the exclusive members every single day. Like, look at my own crypto, cro crypto creator. He's now green with the star next to him. Uh, this man is the man right here. So he's one of the first people, I believe, besides my admin Gino, uh, Gino to make sure it worked. Shout out to you jumping on in. We appreciate that. What this does, it also helps out the algorithm and helps push the channel. It shows how many people are really in there. So we made emojis. And if we get up to enough people, we can add more emojis. Right now, there's only four, but we can continue to add more emojis. So jump on it today. And um, yeah, um, that's interesting, Sam. Good idea. So if you want to do that, let us know. We have a member section now here on YouTube and uh, take advantage of it. All right. And uh, I can't wait to see you with your member's name jumping on in. All right. Up 400% on a 17th song on Velo on Mexi since last night. Took 75% profit so far. Thank you, Sam. My man jumped in with the 528 and the 528 hertz because that is the love frequency. We live in love here all the time. And so shout out to all you beautiful souls on the live stream. This man, he took that setup that I posted and he made massive gains. 17x long on Velo on Mexi. Up 400%. He took 75% of profit so far. He is ready to go. He's already got his money. He can't lose. Shout out to Merlin who became an exclusive lifer right now. God bless you, Merlin. Thank you so much for doing that. And this is what happens. You become part of the community in such a special way. I really appreciate it. It means so much to me that you would do that. Help that algorithm push. Help people realize how much they love the channel. Um, you know, give a little back. And I'm telling you, I will give so much more back in return. So there we have it. That is what it is. Shout out to John Thomas, another exclusive lifer. I see you, John. I see you. I see you, Merlin. I see you, Creators Crypto. I see you, Jamie. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, now you get your awesome little flag there. You get a little star. Bang, bang, bang. Um, shout out to everybody here. Shout out to my, another exclusive lifer, Leo Acebo. Thank you so much for the love. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, it's been amazing. I'm super excited. Look at the feedback we're getting already, Jamie. Absolutely beautiful. Let's bring that music back. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled program and show you how we make gains in the market every single day. All right. So first thing that my man Bob Marley wanted to talk about he went over, all right, let's take a look here. He went over magic, all right? He gave us a magic super chat, and then also he gave me another super chat here. It is a Velo super chat, a magic super chat, and a Diono protocol. We remember going D Dione. I remember when we first went over that um, on Next C. So let's take a look at that. When it first, ca first came out, people were asking us about it. Bang, bang, bang. More members coming on in. Thank you so much for the love, man. Wow. Uh, another exclusive lifer from Crypto Father 03 Sorry, but the heat is taking it today. Are you kidding me? You really think the heat is taking it? You're tr you guys are trash. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk trash, but you guys are trash. We are such a better team than you. We had, we never should have went down. Jimmy Butler could barely... He, he shot less buckets than a fifth grader the other night. I, I could not believe it. I mean, we should have won by way more. Um, but again, if you honestly think your team is better than our team, come on, let's get real. Uh, on any given Sunday, we have more talent. Like, you don't even have a close to a Jason Tatum. Like, you really think J Jimmy Butler's better than Jason Tatum? Let's get real. Jimmy Butler isn't even as good as Jalen Brown. Like, let's get on it. Like, let's just be honest here. If you guys win, it'll be pure will and not skill. And I'll give it to you. And, and it may the best team win. But let's just be real about something right now. You do not have the bench we have. Derek White's better than half your team. Like, let's get real. Like, let's get seriously real, man. Like, like, like honestly. Like, just be honest with me. Just be honest. You know what I mean? You really think, and I'm going to take all you really think the Heat is better than the Celtics? Like, let, let's get real, man. Let's get real. We were, we were, we lost to the championship last year. Where were you? You guys were number eight. We were on the second seed in the entire, in the entire league. Anyway, I'm not going to waste time on this, but come on. Let's get real, man. I'm a statistics guy. That's how I play it. Let's get absolutely real. Let's focus on reality here. The Heat, man. Come on, man. Like, let's get honest. Like, for once. Let's just get honest for once. Duncan Robinson, the guy can hit a three, right? But not in clutch times. Like, like, like enough, enough, all right? Again, we shouldn't even be there. You guys should be so salty right now that we beat. Yo, you guys, I don't care what it is. We we got the last laugh so far. Even if we lose to you, dude, what we did to you in game six was hilarious. Like, you guys thought you won, and then we stole it from you in a half a second. Oh, my gosh. Three quarters of a second. Three, three tenths of a second, we were able to take it on you. Derek White laid it up in your face. Like, if you don't, if you weren't buried by that, like, how did you go to sleep that night as a Heat fan? Like, I would have buried myself in my pillow and cried all night long. <laughs> anyway, I get to, you know, whatever. It is what it is. So, look, 
Fibonacci level on this was the 706, but we came to the 618er, right? Into the 0.65 of the 0.618, the golden Paquito. Just playing the golden pocket on Dione would have rendered a beautiful 43% gainer. Um, that's that's a big deal. That is a big, big deal. So um, it is what it is, man. Uh, welcome, exclusive Cesar Cordero. So many exclusive lifers, man. God bless you all for jumping on in. I really appreciate it. Um, loving the trash talk, man. You got to chalk some trash, man. Come on, man. It's basketball, man. Almost broke my TV. All right, all right. At least you're admitting it. Late Leo and Sebo, I like you, man. I like you because you're being honest. Like, I would have I would have been throwing my shoes at the TV. <laughs> I, been I definitely would have almost broken my TV too, man. My Irish anger would have come out. I'm like, what is this? How do you lose a game like that? I mean, we had you guys by 10 points, and then you guys came back. When Jimmy hit both the, all, those, all those, three, those free throws, I was pissed. I was pissed. I was about to go to sleep so pissed. You know what I mean? I was just like, no, 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 no. Shout out to all, all the Lifer members. We really appreciate you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. I greatly appreciate it. So Dionis up 44% if you knew what a golden pocket was, which I teach all the time on this live stream. I'm teaching it right now. From the low to the high, you pull, you pull a move, and then you get that bang, bang, bang to the upside. It's a little depressing trap music here. We want to make it a little more like, you know, a little more edgy, you know, without the without without the darkness. Okay, so Dion Protocol banging on up to the upside, up 44%, but the daily's getting a little high now. So what that would tell me to do is go to my one hour time frame and look. I mean, you're getting away from the 21 day moving average on a wick. So look, you look for your next previous support and resistance line, and, and you could bring this down. I mean, you have heavy resistance right here, and you got another set right down here, all right? So here's the deal. If I was trading DNA, which I ha I'm not, but if I was, all right? And thank you so much for the super chat. That's very, 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 very honorable and beautiful of you. I really appreciate that. Remember, love is the strongest frequency. When you live in love, you cannot lose, baby. You cannot lose. What a beautiful Monday, huh? Like, this is just what it is. I mean, I can't wait for the summer months. It, they came out of nowhere. My dad passed in May, May 1st. He, he, he brought in the spring weather. I still can't believe my dad is gone. I, I mean, I'm honest with each and every one of you. I cannot believe my dad is gone. I look around the house and I see all the places he was, all the things he used. My mom still has all his sweaters. He has so many pairs of shoes on the shoe rack still. And my mom doesn't have the heart to throw those things out yet. Like, she said, you know, the hardest thing is erasing him. And, and she cried and I cried. It, it wasn't easy. Um, no one wants to erase someone. Like, like, no, they're still here. Like, that's his shaver. That's his, you know, that's his deodorant. Like, you know, like, you can still smell him in the kitchen, man. Like, it's like, welcome Joseph Supon for another exclusive lifer, man. Um, uh, just joined, but thanks to John Thomas for, and others to join. Much love. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Uh, Zeno, you figured it out. Uh, share some love and round happy days to the lucky five, man. God bless you all. Uh, dang, Pops will live on forever. Thank you for saying that. Uh, word anything for my homies. Richard Barry, God bless you for jumping on in. I'm looking for my phone. Uh, you always have something to do. Boom, boom, boom. It's always hard no matter how long it's been. Keep your head up. I know he's proud of you. Thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I want to figure out why I'm always getting these doubles. I'm going to have to sit with Jamie and figure it out one day. We'll have to do like a, a private live stream or something. But like, it's like, and I, and I swore I turned, I turned down. I figured, I figured out this double echo situation. Is she with you? The cheer label. The follow label, which actually is pretty awesome. The subscriber label, the donation label. Maybe that will do it there. Tweets, tip ticker. You know what it is? It's the tip ticker and the donation label. I think that's what it is. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I can do this on my own time. So Dione, I would look for a flag here in touching the 21 day moving average before any more move comes on and it's going to pull back here on the one hour time frame and that's how i'd be playing dione um i don't know if i'm even pronouncing that correctly it is what it is wow the members are just piling up god bless you all thank you for being here um amazing gifted five crypto life memberships how did you do that how did you gift a membership you can buy memberships for other people 
Dude, you people are amazing. I'm going to Barton Springs here in Austin. God bless you. That sounds like a good place to go. Sounds like you're going to be... Uh, Bitcoin, dump me out of my position. We'll take a look at 27800 What do we do for the exclusive? Uh, we'll figure it out. Don't you worry. All right? Number one, you get noticed more in the, in the, in the chat. Number one. Um, I'll also be doing private screen, you know, just private sessions with each and every one of you that does this. We'll do a private YouTube members only stream. Okay. Let's get the memberships up to the watchers. You're funny, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. And I guess anytime someone joins the membership, we're getting, we're, we're getting a, uh, uh, we're getting it in. Um, shout out to Shrad Minta. Thank you for it. That's awesome, guys. Congrats. I'll be at a Bart, Barton Springs too. Ayo, ATX. Two people at Barton Springs having a blast. Is, is this access to the Discord? No, it is not. The Discord is completely separate from membership on YouTube. All right? They're two different things. Two different things. Okay. Wow. That's kind of just coming in hot on the live stream every five seconds. Not even sure how to... You know why? It's coming... If I turn the speakers off and someone does it again, I'm just... I have everything turned off. This is bugging me out. You know? This has always been kind of a strange thing that happens, and I, I don't understand how, why we get the double up. I had to just turn the music off for a second because I'm trying to see if it comes from the music or it comes from two places. It's, it's a bit annoying for me personally, but shout out to the 400 people on the live. Even on a Memorial Day weekend, we're getting 400 people. I mean, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. My man asked about Velo, which we already kind of made some gains with. I would be taking some profits on Velo. What a massive move for Velo. We called this beautifully last night. It is it it is. All you have to know is how to play Hidden Bullish Divergence and a flag. It's really not that difficult. But the one hour also getting a little high. We look at our four-hour time frame. Four hours says there's more coming for this. So that would lead me to believe to go to the seven-minute time frame and flag this out. I'd flag out the seven. If the seven can stay in a flag, there's likely more coming for this because the four-hour suggests there's more coming. So I would flag out the seven, and I would be getting back into this when the 21 and the, and the price action touch. This is my yield system that plays out over and over again. And this is how you trade altcoins. Altcoins are a little harder to trade than, than bigger, bigger, uh, you know, Bitcoin and stuff like that because there's far more little flags, little movement. I'd be tracking this seven-minute flag here on Velo, all right? And then my man asked about Magic, if I remember correctly. Magic's on KuCoin as well. We'll take a look at Magic. Funny, Magic on the seven-minute is, is in another flag too as well, right? And I'm not saying, I don't just pattern trade. I look at all different parameters, but that looks like a move is coming from Magic to the upside. I would not be surprised if Magic, from the length of this poll, continues to the upside as well. I'd have to look at the four-hour time frame to see what's, what, what's brewing here. And it's a little overbought and really far away from the 21-day moving average. So it's more than, it's unlikely. See how Velo had the four-hour ready to move? That gave me a different indication. Um, I could maybe play this on the one-hour time frame, see what it gives you on the one-hour. But after that pop, it tells me that there will be somewhat of a pullback. So I'd watch this on the one-hour time frame and the seven for a bit a better entry. This looks like there could be some more pimp juice coming out of this for Magic. Magic would take you about to 120, and then it would probably subdue itself a little bit. Max C token, which I do own. This is one thing that I am in right now. And again, um, we'll talk about it right now. Um, and not MXC token. Let's see, MX, MX token right here on MEXC, which is their actual token of their exchange. And you can see right here on the one hour time frame, it's looking very, very bullish. All right. And it's consolidating very nicely. A high, a low, a higher low. It just has to break through that higher high. And this thing can blast to the upside. I'm liking this. I have a pretty big position of like $6,000 in this. This thing goes up 31% gains. That's going to be another $2,000 for me. That's going to be a massive gain. And uh, I'm playing this right now. I'm in this trade personally, so we'll see what happens. But I like this right now. And this is the token of the exchange. People get paid less fees when they hold it. People get more incentive when they hold it. There's just so much more coming for you when you hold the token. Um, you also get into airdrops, right? They made it a utility token, which you can use for multiple things. So because of the utility behind it, anything is possible. Um, it's at a high volume area, though. Once it gets up there, it can get to this volume area high. I would expect a bigger pullback once it gets to 391. But you can see this thing's been on an absolute tear, an absolute tear to the upside. If you look at it now, it's just been on a massive bull run for, for a while here, ever since it bottomed out at about 82 cents. Um, shout out to everyone jumping on in. Thank you for gifting memberships. Gifted one crypto life for membership. So you gifting memberships. Can you pick the person that you gift the membership to? Wow. 
And like everyone's gonna have a membership soon. Paying it forward. Wow, I've been in the 99 definitely over a year now, not leaving anytime soon. Unbelievable. I like to hear that. Happy Memorial Day. That is awesome. Let's get the members up to the viewers. Let's go. The Lifer community is pumping hard. Big gains coming in. Shout out to Mara Solo. Shout out to John Thomas. Shout out to Stable Tips. Shout out to Daddy T. Shout out to Daddy T again. Wow. And you guys keep it moving. Uh, my man cave office is almost done. Can't wait to join the 99. Oh, that's going to be awesome. You're going to have the perfect man cave. It's all going to be blasted up, ready to rock. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right? Wow. Um, you're unbelievable. Life is strong. Shout out to Lakochi Coker. God bless you in the game, man. And again, if you think these are gains right now, these are like, this is like the scraps at the bottom of the plate here, what we're doing today. Uh, more could be coming our way, right? So look at the daily, ready to push up. This thing is about to blast off on the daily time frame with bullish consolidation. It looks good on the one hour time frame too as well. I'd be highly surprised if this TA does not play out, but anything is possible. Remember that? It could dump all the way down. I'm just playing probabilities. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. All right. And I keep, these aren't super chats because the super chats are staying still. So every time we get a membership, it is, it is able to see that. Uh, you're in my inspiration, Bo. Shout out to Sherrod Meetna. Shout out to Psychology BN. Awesome gifts, man. Uh, the love here today is unreal. As always, from the Lifer fam, you people are amazing. On a Monday, on a Monday, 418 people on the live. I appreciate each and every one of you for jumping on in, being a part of the Lifer stream, kicking it with me every single day. No matter what happens, no matter what's going on in your life, you got to stay positive. You got to stay positive. Working out really helps. Like, I know as I'm working out, I'm going to have a great stream. I'm like, oh, the stream's going to go so well. All right? So that's just one thing to talk about, too. Uh, we're here for the fire here. I'm on Super USDT. What do you think? We'll take a look at that. Can you please take an eye on Quick USDT? Um, gifted one crypto. Life. So how do you gift a membership? I'm so, like, do you, give, do you pick someone that's going to get it? Gave my life to God, and it led me here. I can't believe you gave your life to God, and it led me to my, to, to my live stream. A lot of people would try to call me a charlatan for that, but I gave my life to God, too. And honestly, when you submit to God, life just gets that much better. I am have to be honest. Life just gets that much better. Through the ups and downs, always positive, always a lifer. I'm long in Velo. Let's go. Shout out to Tom, Thomas ACS. Hey, Velo is towards the end. It's a little more high risk than it was last night. But there definitely looks like there's some more movement coming out of Velo. Uh, shout out to everyone going to Barton Springs in Austin today. Enjoy yourselves. Austin, beautiful city. Had a good time in Austin. Dean Steakhouse was amazing. Red Ash was amazing. Um, what is it? The uh, Sour Pig or something. Those restaurants were out of control. Your food in Austin, Texas. I was just talking about it to my sister yesterday. You buy memberships and chat up for a gift to take it. However, many there. Uh, you got a blue one? Yeah. Yeah, you know what the blue one? Oh my God! And then you—you you are so Hi, cute. Mm -hmm. You want some water? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! You chugged that water, huh? Be careful now! I don't want you playing around too much in there. I love you. How was your walk? Were you good to mommy on the walk? Yeah. Yep. I love you more than you would ever know. You're so beautiful. My daughter is the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. I'd like to show her off, but I want to, you know, keep her privacy too. Uh, I gave my life to God three years ago in June. I got baptized. Shout out to Mr. Kennedy B. The person who is receiving it has to enable the option to randomly accept. There is a tab for it that you select. I think it's distributed randomly. Whoever accepts must enable. Dude, that's so cool. And you guys are gifting memberships? I mean, this is absurd. Writing a kid's book series. When I can get it finished, I'm sending you copy, Sam. Dude, that's going to be amazing. I'll help you sell it. I'll tell people about it. If I, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll like the book. All right. No matter the market, she is bullish on daddy. That was so awesome. God sent me here, and it's been the best thing for me. Shout out to Mo Crypto. Hey, man. Um, I am, like, honored for people to say that God sent you here. Like, I've never thought I would hurt such words in my life, honestly. All right. So we got through all the super chats. Um, we're watching. And, again, I'm talking about I'm one, one thing. I'll give you a freebie here. That I'm talking about in the trading group. The trade of the week that's likely going to make some gains is Injective Protocol. Injective just looks beautiful. It's in this giant cup and handle on the daily with room to move on the daily time frame. It's got the hidden bullish divergence. And even on the three-day chart, the three-day chart's got hidden bullish. Swing down to swing down. We'll swing to the upside. You can see why we push to the upside. We're getting above levels on the Fibonacci. This is in a giant cup and handle. I can see this making 152% gains too. Like no joke. No joke. Cake also looked interesting to me on the 15-minute. Cake was in this little flag on the 15-minute time frame. 
Not saying it's guaranteed to move, but it looks, you know, it's bullishly consolidating to the side while the stochastics are resetting. All right. Moving averages a little far apart, but I could see a possible little pump out of cake. But be careful. It's more of the higher risk plays that I'm looking at today. Uh, Paul X has some news coming out, which is going to be big for it. Polyastics, uh, I posted in the trading group, right? And you can figure out when main nets are coming out, when different things are happening. Let me see what that is there, too, as well. Um, and then we're going to bring you the news. Don't forget the news. Every single day, we bring you amazing news that will blow your mind, keep you kind of uh, privy to what's happening in the markets, right? So Polyastic Polex, the public launch of the Polyastic Index, that was tomorrow. So there, a big index is coming out for Polyastic. I don't see how that kind of gets it in the mix. People start to pay attention. And this thing could make a massive gain. I'd be watching this closely. 50 minute likely to come back down to the bottom of the channel, waiting for those stokes to get low. I put an alert on the stochastics. When the alerts hit, that's when I'm looking for a possible entry point. So I want to see this come back down. Now it may go flat and then pump up. Either places of low stochastics, we setting, or where I'm looking at it. Thank you, sweetheart. She gave me a pump to a uh, uh, air mattress. Hey, baby, look, I got a little cup for you. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. That's a big book. Let's let's get that off here. You drop that. That'll hurt your foot. The Sugar Smart Diet. Stop cravings and lose weight while enjoying the sweets you love. Today. You know, I don't know. I've never read the book. My daughter just handed it to me. Something my mom probably was reading, which is a good idea as you get older, too. You got to stay away from that sugar. All right. ARPA2 mainnet launch on Ethereum in layer two in early June for ARPA. That's coming to in the BNB chain. It's expected to undergo the Lubin upgrade in June. We talked about that already. That was news we gave you not too long ago. So here's another idea in the trading group. And if you miss this and you can't watch the live streams, I like to be on point and post this into the trading group. Right. Um, so that's something that I do because, hey, you can't be everywhere all the time, even though I try to be. Right? Not everyone can be everywhere all the time. Velo making massive gains here. And we, ooh, 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 we just made a mistake. Velo making massive gains. And where is my, the top of the Discord? Oh, there it is. I mean, we made accurate calls for Bitcoin too. The last three days we nailed Bitcoin. And we're about to give you a Bitcoin update coming immediately. Don't worry. 26 point. Be careful now, please. No more with that book. It's too big. It'll hurt your foot if you drop it. I got it. I got it. I got it. No more, okay? No more. No more, okay? You understand? Yeah. All right. Uh, my wife loves to just have me babysit while I'm watching, while I'm live streaming. She thinks it's funny, apparently. Um, I'll get you, wife. I'll get you, wife. I thought you liked it. You're getting me distracted while I'm trying to really do stuff, though. It's, it's not, it's my job. I love you, but it's not cool. Well, you know? No, it's not cool, but it's all good. Be it's all good. Busy now. She got something fun. Come on. It's all good. Do whatever you want. You're going to do whatever. Women are going to do whatever they want anyway. That's what I learned. There's no point even saying anything to them because they'll do whatever they want. It, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I love you girls. But you know, can you dig deeper on injective? And I, I, I did as deep as I could, man. Um, we go over injective all the time. It's a cosmos, uh, you know, it's a cosmos swap something that you want to look it's a protocol too does really good with matching market makers why do we pump so god are you guys kidding we have a one percent move why are you guys kidding we have a one i don't know what he's talking about anyway uh it's not babysitting it's parenting amen right uh in due time shout out to creators crypto shout out to everybody here crypto father of three cfx and sammy cup and handy on the one hour cfx is on my radar all right cfx and, and again it's about being in the trade before the trade happens it's about identifying the probability of the move way before everybody else. So when they figure it out, you're already in it, and then you can dump on the green candles as they come in, and they could become your exit liquidity. That's what I want to teach you. That's what I want to teach you. So we set alerts in the 15-minute time frame. I want to see this come back down one more time to the bottom trend line, but then with the news coming and their index coming out, I think this thing could be a, make a massive move to the upside. Let's take a look at our baby bitty, bitty Bitcoin. So Bitcoin. Um, I'm going to give you two scenarios here that are possible. We're going to go to BTC, USD, and we're going to look at the Coinbase USD chart. It's like my go-to USD chart. So remember, once we pumped up last night, I said that's probably likely going to be your high. All right. Now, the four hour also wants to come on down and reset. And that's the one thing that's really far away. So I wouldn't be surprised if the four hour ends up making this bigger channel 
all the way back down, retesting this previous high at about 27,388, 27,004, and then kissing the 200 SMA. I mean, the 21, uh, the 21 simple moving average. That's what we're looking for. Now, there's a chance that the one hour could break us out before that, right? There's a chance the one hour could break us out before that. We don't see a major bearish divergence in the one hour time frame. If we did, you know, so I'd be watching this closely because we're still inside of a beautiful little flag here for Bitcoin at 27,789, all right? Now, remember, if we pull a fib even from this small impulse, there's a chance we're going to come to the 786 right there. That would be a beautiful place to enter the trade at the 786. Shout out to man, life or friend. That would also coincide with the four-hour pullback. So I'd be looking for a pullback likely to about 27,405 on the four-hour time frame, but it doesn't mean it has to happen. There's a chance these smaller time frames could pick up the pace and we could get a move to the upside. Already, though, the 21's a little far away from the 200. We could bunch up again. So the one time frame that could save us is the one hour time frame. It's still in a flag. It's touching. It's doing some damage and it's oversold on the stochastics. We even have a bit of hidden bullish divergence. Is, sorry. Alt T, not Alt F. As this is swinging up and this is still swinging down, that tells me that the trend may continue to the upside. We could then get the pump. What will then happen is this pumps up. We'll probably get a bearish divergence. You know, I'm basically front running bearish divergence before it happens. But so what happened is the RSI will pump with price action, but we won't make a higher high. We'll do something like this. Sorry, I think I hit R, Alt R, and that changed the screen for a second. But we're looking for, stop that. It's Alt T, not Alt R, semi. And so we would look at this, and then we would also get a pump to the upside. That would be a bearish divvy, because this would swing up, that would swing down, and then that could help the four hour come down uh, a little quicker. So I'm still seeing a possible move here on the one hour time frame. all right, that I talked about this morning in the trading group. Uh, and this is what I went over at about 7 a.m. It's now been three hours, almost four hours since my last update for Bitcoin. All right. So I'd watch this flag. If this flag starts to, to drop to the downside. So it's it's basically you got to take a chance. You know, trading is taking a shot. The safe idea is to wait for Bitcoin to retest 27,379, 2400. But the, the people with a bunch of gustos and with a lot of a lot of guts, a lot of balls, I got to say. Sorry, I don't always say that. But hey, you know, if you have if you have them, let them hang. And so if you have some guts here. You could take a high risk trade here on the one hour time frame. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say you should be taking is financial advice. The safe idea for the safeties is to wait for it to get to that 706 mini retracement there on the FIB and bounce off 27,400. The four hour also develops this idea that it says it, could, it can likely happen. The daily just getting started, in my humble opinion, and we could see even more moves on the daily time frame. All right. But I just broke down the one hour and the four hour for you. Then we're going to look at another chart to make it cleaner and clearer. All right, but that's Bitcoin. And now we'll look at Bitcoin USD here on Binance. Just an easier chart to talk about. And we'll delete everything and even the moving averages here for a second and just look at price action clean. Now, some think because we had this massive move, let me show you what's going on. <coughs> One thing I want to talk about, I want to bring the moving averages is getting back above the 200 SMA. My old plan and my old trick is to open up a short along every time you get above the 200 SMA with a stop loss on the other side. <clears throat> and we can go over this. To, see, my, my, my system is simple to understand and simple to use. All right. It's based on moving averages. Like, <clears throat> and I can go back in time and show you why I would do something and, and the movement of it. Thank you so much again for jumping on in for the membership. I really, really appreciate that. It really does help the algorithm. It's amazing. Um, shout out to the new members here too. Shout out to everyone jumping on in. 28 new members is that's what it's saying so look you got above I, I i do this on the live stream all the time i show you why i believe something's going to happen not just say it other people just say it but they have nothing to back it up there's no statistics there's nothing they just kind of open their mouth blah, 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 blah. i don't do that i actually have like you know real be real statistical analysis behind what i talk about so look we're right here right, right now bitcoin broke out and it's in this little flag on the four hour time frame if you open up along every time bitcoin gets back above the four hour 200 SMA, and you put a stop loss on the other side. Look at that massive move to the upside. Okay. Then it dipped a little bit, but once it got back above, opened up another long, massive move to the upside. All right. Those two both played out really, really nice. You can do the same thing with the short. Four hour candle closes right there. You open up the short, massive move to the downside for a beautiful short. Here it comes up. You'd open up a long right when that third or fourth candle opens up. You would have got a nice put. And what I do is you keep the stop loss here. Once you're up in money, you start basically trailing the stop because you don't know how far it's going to go 
And if you trail to stop, trail to stop, when it switches direction, you're still in the money. All right. Same thing here. Four hour closes. You could wait for this candle to close and then jump in on this one. Open up the short with the trailing stop loss. You're in the money. This is a simple way to trade. It's not that difficult. And it, it has a really, really good track record. Here it goes again. The four hour opens up. You open up the long with this trailing stop loss. You're in the gains here. You're in there. And so and, you know, we keep going over. There's a nice trade. There's a short. There's a beautiful. That one was a massive, massive one. You know, I, every one out of five or one out of six. You're going to get a massive gain, right? Here it is again. The 4-hour closed above the 200 SMA. Stop loss below the yellow line. And the key is to keep this as close as possible so you don't have to risk a lot. These trades are beautiful because they don't risk a lot of money. Say you got into this trade here. You were going for about, you know, um, and again, you could look at it like this. Falling wedge breaks to the upside. The measured move of the falling wedge. Usually I would take it to that value area low there and swing that up. That would tell me where we're likely to go. So I don't want to have my target. And then I'd keep my stop loss just on the other side. That's a 5 to 1 risk or ratio. You're only risking 2% to gain 11%. On 10x leverage, you're talking 110% or 20% loss. I mean, it's a beautiful move. You had 1000 bucks, you either lose 100 bucks or you know, yeah, 20 bucks, the 20%, oh, you make $1000. Like I mean, it's 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 here it is again. Once this candle closed right there, you could have gotten into that 4 hour in a massive move to the upside, right? Um, once it broke below, a little bit of a short. Even even these little scalps play out somewhat, but they're not perfect, right? It's not perfect every time. But out of 20 times, you're getting 18 beautiful trades. So right now, we're back above the 200 SMA. As long as this four-hour can stay above this, which is like kind of likely. So we'd like to see that one-hour spike up, make that bullish divergence, and then we'll have this like up and down price action on the four-hour time frame. And I'd be looking for this flag to stay intact. This flag stays intact, and you're gonna this is going to blast to the upside. And so now you get your measured move. The measured move really is the whole length of this whole flag. And I'm not guaranteeing this because there's no guarantees to anything you do in trading. All you can do is backtest, find out a plan, stick to the plan, and trade the plan over and over and over again. We look at the long position here, and we swing this to the upside, and we're looking here at about 8% gains, stop loss below the 200 SMA. And if you want to be extra chintzy, you could raise the stop loss below this previous support zone, which we had massive resistance. That's a beautiful trade, in my humble opinion, right there. And when the 21 touches price action, you're gone, baby, gone. I'm not saying we can't slip down. Maybe we slip down, but it's unlikely. Usually, we do get the bounce. The one hour is also corroborating the story that we're going to be in in this nice little smaller flag on the one hour time frame. So there's my Bitcoin update for you as well. You know, big ideas. Now. Um, I broke that down for you. I showed you the trades. I showed you the reason. I even gave you a backtesting theory, which I've shown on the live stream so many times. I hope I drilled it into the heads of the regular people that watch the stream every single day. On top of that, we're going to go to the weekly time frame, and we're going to talk about the 200 yes again, and we're going to break this down for you. All right. Um, oh, weird. Binance doesn't have enough information. That's kind of strange. All right. Bitfinex better have it, right? Yeah, so we're on the weekly here on Bitfinex. It doesn't really matter what exchange as long as it's a it's a it's a known exchange. All right. But here's the deal again. You know, we were in a beautiful flag and where do we bounce? Off the 200 SMA. I've been talking about this over and over again. I put out a trade on Twitter for free. For free. All right? And I went over this just yesterday, even on my live stream last night. All right? And it's not that far actually. I was able to find it pretty 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 swiftly. There it is right there. I long Bitcoin here with a stop below the 200 weekly SMA. Bad idea or great idea? Look for a good idea. Comment if it's a bad idea. Retweet if you YOLO. You only live once. And the idea is to open up the trade. And that trade is ma in massive profits right now. I you could This was given for free on Twitter. So like anyone that, that runs their mouth, anyone that does that, like whatever. Shout out to the beautiful people that do love me. Let's just stay on the, on the love right now. Uh, meme coins pumping. Airdrops. Uh, business and finance. 7.4 million tweets on airdrops. Agenda 2030, we know what that is. That's starting to kind of make a, you know, we know what they want to do. They're not going to win, everybody. They're not going to win. I, I'm On my soul and my good energy, they're going to try everything they can, but they're, it's likely that they're not going to win. What I like is that we whipped off that support region, which was previous resistance. I'm telling you right now, the one hour could stay pinned here and we could continue the dump, but there's a high likelihood that the one hour can get busy here and continue a move to the upside. Until I got stopped out, it is what it is. I look at this trade and you don't have to risk a lot. That's the key, all right? Back to the Bitfinex here on the weekly. So the weekly's in a little flag, just like I just showed you the flag on Velo. This is no difference than the Velo flag, you know? And things that I learned on smaller timeframes can be brought into bigger timeframes. And let me show you what I mean. 
as we just show you gains all over the place like a lot of things that we discuss will eventually play out over time right so see this flag on velo it even had a kind of a shoulder head and a right shoulder but see this flag on velo how it pumped out it's exactly like this flag on bitcoin on the weekly chart all right these the, i play these the same way they're very similar and look you had the 200 and the 21 close together that's on the but that's on the 15 minute time frame right the weekly it doesn't matter the time frame because you live your life and you compare time to what you see time as and what i mean by that is the weekly is a big deal to you because you only live 100 years in the weekly but if you live 10,000 years the weekly would be like a one second chart you get it if you lived a million years the weekly like so time is relative to how much you have of it right and if we, you know we're only given about 100 years if we're lucky 80 years my dad died at 76 right average lifespan um but the idea behind this is i mean that's the length of the pole here to the upside and that's a cup and handle that's the sammy cup and handy and that's why they call me sammy cup and handy you're starting to understand why they call me samuel cup and handle you're starting to figure out why you're starting to put it the piece the pieces the story of the piecing you're starting to piece the story together <laughs> of what's happening all right why they why i'm so accurate why i do this why i'm here every single day and people love the stream why we have 449 people on the live and some of the biggest channels have like i don't know three thousand people like we're doing pretty good compared to the bigger channels channels that are 20x the size of us i mean we're only 43,000, 44,000 subs and uh, we get massive retention and it's because of the day-to-day -day grind every single day you're also in a gap of the vrvp you're likely to head into this big zone of liquidity our next big area to watch is going to be 37,000. so as long as bitcoin stays above this 200 sma we have nothing to worry about everyone that's like freaking out about pullbacks and all this stuff because i have a system that i use all the time and it's based on the sma mainly the 200 sma and i've back tested it on the one hour for five years the the weekly i've been back testing it for two to three years because i have bigger time frames i've been doing this for years i started trading 15 years ago really even 20 years ago when i first started looking at coins and just looking at uh at stocks and buying in i'm 40 years old my 40th birthday was last month i'm not just some young youtuber who started trading three years ago a lot of people i talk about they're like i got it in 2020 i got it in 2021 i got it in 2018 I mean, I got into crypto in 2016. I'm going on my seventh year of crypto. Soon I'll be a DECA crypto guy, a DECA year, right? So the idea is as long as we stay, I don't care what anyone says. Now, the second a weekly candle closes below the 200, I'll flip bearish for sure, 100%. I mean, that, that just is what it is. You know what I mean? And I'll short because that's my system. I have a system that I abide by. That's my religion when it comes to these ideas, right? So I definitely see a pullback, you know, or some type of, you know, Take profit section somewhere at this high volume node, 38,600. But don't be surprised when we go to 40K, right? Towards the summer or through into the spring and the fall, into the fall, don't be surprised. All right. And all your YouTubers that were telling you to short the market got, they got banged out. I'm telling you right now. I mean, anyone who was shorting the market the last three days got absolutely banged in the face. Like, like who here had a YouTuber they were watching that was calling a short and the short got absolutely smashed? Anybody? Anybody? I don't watch much YouTube, so I don't know. I don't, I, I can't place that. But if you were if you were watching a YouTuber who was shorting hard, uh, you know what I mean. You might want to kind of take a break from watching that, because they didn't see obvious, they didn't see obvious bullish divergence on the daily time frame. The daily had a bullish divergence. All right, I'm a divergence trader. When I see divergence, I'm all over it. When I see moving average break, I'm all over it. But right there, that's a swing up to swing up. On the daily, it was a swing down. I pointed it out mostly on the 12 hour because the 12 hour had it really, really apparent to me. And if you watch my live stream, I was breaking this down. That's a swing down, a swing down there. And I know I'm messy. Hold on. I, it's, I got a lot. I'm like, I'm like Leonardo da Vinci with his paints all over the place, right? But look at this. That's a swing down. That's a downtrend. But there was an uptrend here on the, on the, on the RSI. When the RSI and the, in the, in the price action don't match, you're looking for a massive gain, all right? Now, the 12 hours getting a little overbought, too. That kind of worries me. And we're at the top of this channel. And there's a chance that we move below the channel for sure, right? On smaller time frames, we could get rejected and come down here. What we want to see is the flag system play out right now. Or and what I see is just the retest of this area. So I wouldn't be surprised if we came down and retest. And I won't be surprised if we come all the way back down to here. We do have to breach this point of control in the 12 hour time frame, which is 28,000. We got to get back above that and hold that level. All right. Just something that we have to hold. All right. I'm currently in a swing trade, just taking advantage of this flag. It may not play out. All right. I'm not guaranteeing that it's going to happen. It may not play out. All right. And it's not a big trade. I haven't risked a lot. All right. 1300 bucks at about 5x leverage, right? Down 1% right now. We'll see how it goes. We break a certain level of resistance. Uh, then I'll call. I'm going to close the trade. 
okay? Now, check this out. Let's look at book map. Book map suggests that we have a massive sell wall at 28,000. Uh, and that's going to be really tough to get back above that. 477, 471. This whale is trying to stop. And that's how many Bitcoins are on the order book. That's not like the number there. That's 477 Bitcoins. All right. So we didn't get a short squeeze yet like we wanted to on the morning. Last night kind of played us at 28.3. Right. And but right here, 27,500 is that next big zone of liquidity. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit it. So I, I'm sending you some mixed signals because I'm not telling you I know where price action is going. I just trade probabilities. All right. That's all I do is I trade probabilities. Whatever the probability is, that's how I trade it. Um, all right. And so that's what we're looking at for the day. Uh, this one hour is showing signs that it could get a move to the upside. Again, there's no reason to close the trade until we don't. So I keep my stop loss. Either you get stopped out or I take the trade to the upside. It is what it is. If we get stopped out and we lose certain areas, we take the short right if this flag doesn't play out the four hours likely to kind of push us further down what i like about it is the four hours resetting pretty fast and it's not going to take too long for this 21 to touch the four hour time frame all right i hope i gave you enough information who is happy with the bitcoin update who who is like you know what mr rose that's what you're here for to get an education and learn what sam is talking about shout out to everybody here man god bless you brother I don't know what you're, I don't know. I honestly, I don't look at the haters or any negative energy. If you're not positive or full of love, I can't see you. Your frequency just doesn't exist. So negative frequency does not exist to me. I can't even see it. I can't interact with it. I don't know what it is. I stay away from it as soon as humanly possible. So if you come in here with that flip flap, jack talk, man, even if all the charts disappear tomorrow, you still have positive motivation to give. And I'd still watch. Shout out to lights. F man. God bless you. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Um, can you check out Ben? Psychological ben being, says my man. Um, we'll take a look at Ben right now for you. And Ben was in a retracement. Yeah, you know, we, we saw that nicely, and we thought it was going to come back down. Beautiful bounce on the 706 Fibonacci. Then it got through the golden pocket. Interesting enough to me, now it's showing signs of kind of beginning to build its way back to the upside. So Ben broke out of this falling wedge that it was in. You could say it almost fell out, fell back in in a way. For Ben. Um, interesting. Then I delete everything too, and I try to look at it differently. I try to see something that I may not have seen before. It doesn't really have enough information to bring it on the daily. It doesn't have enough information to bring it out on the 12, 8 hour. You start going back until you get some time frames that make sense. So right here, you could still say that Ben is struggling to get back above the zone slightly, but I feel like it fell out and fell back in. If I try to bring this up, I guess I could bring this, this up, and you could say it's getting tighter in this wedge. Which to me is a symmetrical triangle, all right? And I've seen these play out massively, even on a smaller time frame like the four hour. I remember Matic being in a similar chart like this to the upside. Ben also may come all the way back down to hit its lower point, but you got a lot of people buying in. Today is going to be the loyal reveal too, remember? I did the pre-sale for loyal. I don't know if you did. I did. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, but anything could happen. I made a little video for Ben.eth. We'll put it out in a little while. It was a joking video. I hope he doesn't take it offensively. Um, but I basically said I'd throw him in freezing cold water if he steals my ETH, you know. So I see Ben here making a bigger move to the upside. It's even got a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder. I like what I'm seeing for Ben here. It did bounce lower here, which to me is good enough after that resistance moment, all right? And then we pulled our FIB, and we looked at the FIBs as well. And we're playing it by the book, and it's in the golden pocket right there. I mean, that's a beautiful accumulation zone for Ben. I'm personally in Ben too, so I just, you know, something I do have to say, I am personally in Ben. I can see Ben up at 33 for 118% gains from where it is now. Very, very interesting to me, all right? Can you check Homer Simpson? Um, interesting. You guys love your memes. You love your memes. Um, and that was Simpson. I mean, It was Homer, but it was Simpson, right, if I'm correct? And I got salty about this because this did like a 10x, and I bought the wrong coin, you know? So even I make mistakes, so... Okay, so I can only see it on perpetual futures. I can't seem to get like the uh, the actual. Um, it's on Polonian X, I guess. But I don't know why I can't get the Mexi spot. Maybe it's not on Mexi spot, only on futures. All right. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. Okay, Homer USDT here. I believe it's Homer. All right. Also, wow, Homer looked nice. It was getting tighter in the zone, but it was a symmetrical triangle. Symmetrical triangles are 50-50 shots. 
In my humble opinion, they tend to break down more than they break to the upside, even though they're 50-50 patterns. I find them to be more bearish patterns than bullish. So let's take a look. We got in early here. It did a massive run up. That's when I would take my initial or take most of my profits. You know, uh, when you see a massive straight movement to the upside and you don't take money, I, I don't know what to say. Either you're holding long term and you don't care. And again, that's there's two there's two scenarios to play a meme coin. You put in three to four hundred bucks. You say it's already gone. You basically tell yourself it's already gone. You walk away. You don't even think about it. And you check on it month by month. And you see when it gets to like massive levels. You might have some like you might even do something like this. You put an alert here and you just let the alert sit. So if it ever gets to that point, you'll know, you know, because you, you don't want to stare at it all day long. But that's a falling wedge. Could it make a move to the upside? Anything is possible. Um, you know, it's a little overbought here on the one hour time frame suggested it may come back down one more time. What you do is you're looking for some bullish divergence. For some reason, the RSI does not even uh, move on this. I don't understand that at all. You know, I'd be very careful with this coin. I'm not in it personally, you know, and it may, maybe it makes a scalp here on the 15. Zooming in, you have tight moving averages. You got a bit of a little flag action here, similar to kind of what Ben's doing there in a, in a triangle. And it could make a move to the upside. I don't know. I'd be very careful. Not every meme coin is going to be the one. You know what I mean? And look, it's in a massive downtrend. Could have been sold off by the holders and the leaders. You know, another thing you want to do, if you can, is you want to look up the coin, like type in Homer. I'm going to give you some alpha right now, all right? I'm going to give you some alpha. Um, and again, there was two coins. This was the one right here, I believe, Homer. Uh, nope, 55,000 market cap. Nope, I don't think that's it. Let's see. See, that's what's, what's hard about these coins is there was two. All right. Then there was Simpson, Homer, right? That's, this is the one with a $4.58 million market cap. And it had the Ethereum contract address, right? What I'll do here too is I'll go to Dex Screener. You can go to Dex Tools or Dex Screener. Either one. I like Dex Screener a little bit. It's a little cleaner of a of a of, a, of an interface. It kind of is more trader friendly for me personally, and it has way more chains. But again, it, whatever you want, right? And you can look at Simpson for Wrapped ETH, Simpson for Wrapped BNB. I don't know if it's the same coin. You see what I mean? Eh, about the same liquidity. We'll see, but. And yeah, this thing's just been sold off. It looks a lot like the Maxi pair. All right, now it's lower than it. It's getting all the way down to the downside. Now, some would say falling wedges break up 68% of the time. Only a matter of time till this breaks up. But meme coins, yes, they do follow technical analysis. And I, you know, I do play TA on them, but they got to get the volume. Like, I don't see this thing trending on Twitter with massive, with a massive following, you know? Now, Bank's been hot. Uh, we talked about Bank yesterday in the trading group on Tap Tools. Let's jump in there again real quick and show you what's happening. Look at that daily candle for Bitcoin, too. We did bre breach that area. Really, really nice what happened on the bigger time frames. For, uh, but look at Tap Tools. And if you remember correctly, I was talking about Bank yesterday. Let's break it down and see if it went up even more. Um, let's see if it, if it held my... Uh, I was looking at Bank on the 15-minute time frame. And I put out a, 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 an idea here in the trading group right and so yesterday in the trading group i don't know why it's not keeping my ta right it's a bit a bit off right but here this is what happened if you're watching even the live stream yesterday but yesterday in the trading group i put out this idea here for bank it was in like an ascending triangle rising wedge showed signs of life i grabbed the brain to the pole i said man this thing can make moves to the upside and you could be like no you didn't lifer you just like saying stuff that you don't do and i'm like all right so we go to the unedited post here in my, and that's why I love having my Discord because my Discord is there to back me up if anyone runs their mouth. And you can see bank, right? Hit for the move. And you could look for when I first put out bank, right? And I put out bank right here. Right here. And you can see we go to the original trading view. And I said bank could make a move of 65% gains or more. It's looking nice in a zone, right? And you look where I talked about bank. That was it right there. All right, that was it right there, May 28th, right? Yesterday, today's the 29th. And you can see, what did it do? It did exactly what I basically played it out. And that's why it's not me. It's the technical analysis. All right, and it did make that 60% gain. And then when we looked at Bank last night, I even drew the fact that it was in this like falling wedge that, you know, kind of flag. And I said, that flag's likely to make another move to the upside. And look at, I mean, it's almost halfway there again. And now it's consolidating bullishly sideways as well. All right, on the, and again, I'm looking at smaller time frames for bank. 
Uh, but this thing's been trending. And this thing is something you can only buy on Cardano Network, all right? That's the Cardano Network. You get a NAMI wallet, NAMI. You buy Cardano at any one of your bigger exchanges, and then you send the Cardano on the Cardano Network over to your NAMI wallet. You then go to MinSwap, all right? I'll show you MinSwap, all right? Right here, MinSwap.org, multi-pool decentralized exchange on Cardano blockchain, all right? So you'd head over to MinSwap, and MinSwap is where you would launch the app, attach your NAMI wallet, and that's where you could actually begin to make money trading these coins on Cardano. Um, Bank is one of the bigger coins here that they've been trading. There it is right there. Bank, right? There's AGIX on there. There's WMT. There's Snex. Snex actually been interesting too as well. Not a lot of coins here, but a launch bowl brought to you by, by Cats for everyone. A MinSwap launch bowl offers promising projects, some of the most potent DeFi primitives to launch and increase their liquidity. Um, and so you can see kind of what's happening. Discover uh, participants supply ADA, entering the period of price discovery and liquidity bootstrapping. Uh, participants receive LP tokens for ADA supplied, which they can use to farm. Um, so a lot going on here in MinSwap. It's, it's just starting, really getting started. This is like the pancake swap of Cardano. Only a matter of time, big things can happen to this. So we give you so much information on this channel. Um, we deep dive into tap tools. We show you where to get the money. We show you how to get the money. And we show you kind of what's happening. Don't for, forget about our BRC20. We're so deep in BRC20s. I have a BRC20 token uh, area inside of my trading group. Look, we even have a Cardano Tap Tools trading group area now. Um, we have Ada Tap Tools ecosystem, right? Which we're going to start beefing up and showing you all sorts of different things that are going to interest you. We have the BRC20 ecosystem where they made a 100x, 77x overnight on OXBT or OX, yeah, OXBT, I guess. Yeah. I mean, and these guys are deep diving hard, spending a lot of time. And that's what happens in my trading group. No one can do everything at once. So we have people that deep dive hard on BRC20. We have people that deep dive hard in, the, in, in leverage trading. We have people that go back and forth. And we have so many different areas and rooms for you to really just get in. Now, at first, first you just jump on in and you learn. And look, they're active right now as we speak. All right. Hey, you shouldn't be writing while you're watching my live. Get into the live. No, I'm just messing around. But this is why I love my trading group. It's so active. It's so beautiful. There's so many people here. Um, jumping on in. Shout out to the 43,500 subs. We hit 43,500 today. That's a big deal. I've been trying to hit that milestone for, or I've been, I've been going after that milestone and we definitely achieved it to the upside. So I do see Bitcoin at a resistance point on this diagonal trend line inside the flag, right? They could definitely break us further down. And I've gone over all the things that I would watch, the one hour flag, then the four hour flag, and then show you that there's more legs. And then the three day chart just suggests the bigger move. And then I went over where the weekly should stay above the 200 SMA. There's not much more I can talk about for Bitcoin today on this Monday. There's really not. Who here likes the Bitcoin update? Who here understands all the things I'm saying and got a lot out of it? Much love to the lucky gift receivers. Be prepared for life or for Thursday. I'll behave. Peace. I'm out. Looking crispy too. LOL. Shout out to John Thomas. Thank you for the love, man. I appreciate you. And people just keep gifting memberships. Um, Legos the Lifer got a, a membership gifted to him. Look at that. Now he's in the game. Um... Shout out to you, man. Congrats, brother. And the energy is amazing. Uh, Crypto Lifer and Frankie Candles are the only YouTubers you need to watch. Shout out to my man, Crypto Tweak. Shout out to Crypto Plumber. Um, I appreciate it. Shout out to everybody here on the live. I appreciate you all. Appreciate you all. Now, one thing that I have that a lot of other people don't have is I've been trading for 15 years. I started trading gold and silver on the Toronto Stock Exchange. I started getting into ETFs for gold. I was looking at the price of gold every single day, dang near 12 years ago. So... I'm not someone that, you know, if you ask people, what's your story? How long have you been trading? And they'll be like four years, five years. I've been trading a long time. I've seen the weekly charts on bigger time frames. I've seen ups and downs. I've made it through bull and bear markets. Heck, if you go and watch my live stream back in 2019, 2020, I am calling for Bitcoin at 6K to go all the way to $27,000, $30,000, right? I nailed that call. I got into Cardano at two cents. I got into um, EGLD at $20, went to $540. I got into Cake at 60 cents, went all the way to $44. I got into Phantom at 18 to 22 cents, went all the way to $3. Um, the list goes on. I got into Ave at 80 bucks, went into five, 600 bucks. Uh, the list just continues to go. I got into Adam at like, what, $3 and $4. It went to 48, 48 bucks. I got into Link at $1.78. That thing went flying. Um, go back. Just be curious. Look at my live streams when they first began back in the day and look at the calls that I'm making. They're absolutely absurd. Um, and so I've been doing this for a long, long time. A heck of a long time. A heck of a long time. All right. I'm going to bring the news out. Then we're going to look at Bitcoin one more time. And then I'm out of here for the day. My family wants to chill. I want to chill. It's Monday, baby. 
and it's Memorial Day weekend, right? Ada Maxi here. Good to hear you talk about the decks and the coins and showing how to use the decks. You're the best lifer. Hey, man, that's what you got to do. I'm an Ada Maxi too, as far as I'm concerned. I'm an Ada Maxi. I'm an Ada Maxi pack. <laughs> I'm just, that's like, a, oh my God, I love y'all. You're the best. And again, less volume today. So we could easily get that slap to the downside. Remember, you're trading a lower volume day. Um, I'm pretty sure the stock market may be closed today. I I, I want to maybe verify that. Is the stock market closed today? Maybe not. There's there's like five days a year that the stock market is closed. Um, stock market's closed Monday, July 23rd. Uh, Wednesday, July 3rd. Tuesday, July. Yeah, funny. Um, Christmas Eve, if it falls on a weekday. Thanksgiving. And Monday, May 29th, 2023 for Memorial Day. Yeah, so the stock market's closed today. So you have to remember that's just going to create, you know, that means tomorrow's going to be our false move Monday. Things begin to shift, and it kind of ruins the entire week. So the week will be a little shifty and iffy based on this stuff, um, you know, based on these ideas, all right? So remember, this is an area of liquidity to watch. It was just a previous resistance point. Whether you trade FIBS or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's an area to watch, right? If you trade FIB from top to bottom here, um, sorry, I know from bottom to top, the opposite way. I could see us coming back down to bounce, you know, um, like we came up to the 786, then we come back down and, you know, that's a beautiful place to open up a, a short right there at the 786, come back down into these higher realms into the lower volume areas. So just things to think about. All right, I'm not bullish or bearish. I'm showing you both scenarios. I'm taking a shot on the one hour, just because I got a lot of I got a lot of these. I got a lot of cojones, right? But it doesn't mean it's going to happen. But I mean, I like the hidden bullish. I like the flag. And again, you got to figure out what you want. You got to figure out your system and stick to it, no matter what happens. All right, we had massive gains overnight. It was pretty awesome, and into today. But things things things, things seem to kind of want to slow down a little bit too. All right, I'm going to look at Phantom. I haven't looked at Phantom. I always have an affinity for Phantom, my baby. Massive gains for Phantom. I'll always, I'll always think about my baby Phantom. I just want to look at Phantom and see what's going on with it. So I kind of see it in this falling wedge that wants to break to the upside. I wouldn't be surprised if we bounced. It's also showing some bullish divergence on the daily time frame, right? Because you got the swing down, but the swing down is sharper. That's a class C bullish with a move to the upside, lack of bearish momentum, and falling volume... With falling price, the price is just continuing to fall off. We're losing the sellers. I could see a massive move for Phantom. I wouldn't be surprised if Phantom got back at least to this resistance point at 44 in the next four to five days. So I'd be looking for 33 to 44. Interesting. Also got a bit of a cup and handle vibe there after this Adam and Eve double bottom for Phantom. Interesting times for Phantom. Okay. Wow, the membership thing is blowing up. I can't believe it. Super excited to see this. People gifting members, people doing all sorts of stuff. Um, go Heat, see you at 8 p.m. Blah, 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 blah. Super Chat, CGPT, loyal presale. I set the ETH. Will the loyal token sent directly to MetaMask or do I have to claim them somewhere? They should show up right to your MetaMask wallet. All right, I'll go over that in the trading group because I did it and we'll talk about it. Lifer was born in Boston, I think. Not Canadian. I am not Canadian. I don't know why people think I'm Canadian. Do I sound like a Canadian? Jesus. I hope I don't sound like... Hey, hey, hey. Could you go over Injective before it's too late? I end you. Um, end you. I already went over Injective in depth. Um, Kaya, I appreciate you talking about... I think you're talking about Injective Protocol. I already went over it in depth. Yep. I meant discount on BTC. XDC. Uh, thank you. You should have done this a long time ago. Actually, I went to do this like a year ago and something happened. We got pulled back. Be very careful about airdrop claim scams. The claim links infect you with sweeper scripts. Um, no, we're talking about the real one that I did though with Ben, um, uh, Ben.eth. He had a real one. So just be, you know, I don't want you to kind of scare them away from that. That was a real one that I actually did. So just be careful. Uh, but he's right. You know, he's just kind of cautioning you to be careful. Okay. Don't do what I do. I'm a risky son of a gun. You know what I mean? I take big risks. Even being on YouTube is a big risk. You put your whole life on the line um, with a conglomerate, right? Anything could happen. I mean, it's 
People think this is easy. YouTube, one of the hardest jobs you'll ever work in your life. You're always under the fire. There's always something to do. Every day you wake up, you could work even harder than the day before. There's no limit to how hard you can work. And that means you could become swept up and becoming a workaholic here. And it can kind of, you know, so you have to balance yourself a lot, especially being your own, your own person here in the game. All right. Okay. And that brings me to the news. Shout out to everybody here. My name is Samuel James Price, and I do a show called The Crypto Lifer Show every single day. They call me The Crypto Lifer. The Lifer, a lot of people refer, refer to me as The Lifer because I breathe life into the game. And we bring you awesome news every single day that can affect the market. Sometimes it's a main net coming out. Sometimes it's two big behemoths like yesterday, Cardano and Matic, handling, hanging out with each other, making some big partnerships. These can help coins move. These can help the ecosystem grow. So let, without further ado, let's jump on in to the news. The first thing I'm looking at here is Binance complies with regulations, unveils new crypto trading platform in Japan. I believe Binance will be back in the U.S. It's only a matter of time. Binance, the leading cryptocurrency exchange, has announced the development of a dedicated trading platform specifically designed for the residents of Japan. Scheduled to launch in summer, this new exchange aims to adhere to all Japanese cryptocurrency regulations, ensuring full compliance. The platform will support a curated selection of tokens for trading, as stated by the exchange. They just did it in Thailand. They did it in Japan. Binance coming back strong. Um, if you really need to trade Binance, you can use Bolsadex. All right, that's something you can use. I do have a link if you want to jump into that. But again, that's at your complete own risk. And make sure you're in a country that applies and all that fun stuff. But yes, um, there's a way to get the liquidity of Binance without, you know, just on the low, just something to think about. And the same announcement, Binance has disclosed its decision to cease providing services to residents of Japan through its global platform, effective from November 30th. So they cease services for Japanese residents on the global platform by November 30th, but they're making their own. It's kind of like Binance US. How we got kicked out of Binance, but we got to go to Binance US, right? To ensure a smooth transition, Binance has devised a new identity verification process known as Know Your Customer, which will be accessible starting from August 1st, 2023. Um, I would love if Binance did something similar. Um, and then we have Binance US, so we kind of have Binance, but it's just not the same. It really isn't, but still good news. They're finding ways to comply no matter what. They're, they're basically butting up to the, the powers that be at the time, and they're making sure their business continues to grow worldwide. I love CZ. I love what he does. I love Binance. And I've been a, far, a firm supporter of Binance since the day they came out. And I started using them for to, for about five years ago. So Binance, good to see that happening in the news. Shiba Inu theme Floki sees trading volume surge amid China plans. Floki price rallies on Sunday amid a Bitcoin-led market push and bets on the token's China narrative. Uh, Floki spiked over 10% on Sunday. 10%? Eh, it's all right. On Sunday, you saw its highest trading volumes in over three weeks as traders bet on tokens amid a China-focused push for Valhalla Metaverse game. Trading volumes for the tokens, which are fashioned after the Shiba Inu dog breed, jumped over 600 million, up from last week's 25 million average. The spike comes as ads for its Floki game featured in some Chinese sporting tournaments. This could have it attracted some speculators who hypothesized that this might attract new traders from China. In a tweet, Floki developers said the influx of Chinese-based community members on, saw, said they saw an influx of Chinese community members on social media groups. Floki previously said it was targeting China in the latest push towards attracting more users for its Valhalla game. China narrative has caught on among some on crypto Twitter ahead of lax laws for retail trading in Hong Kong, driving up prices for Asia-focused Asia fa tokens such as Conflux in the past few weeks. We had an idea. We already had a, a push-up for Conflux. Bitcoin getting a bit of a tank to the downside now, seeing some massive drawdown. And again, that four hours pushing to the downside. You can't be surprised by this idea. The four hours going to want to come and touch this 21-day moving average. What we don't want to see is the four hour closing candles below the 200 SMA. I would have liked to have seen it stay above. This could just be a liquidity grab to the downside, but only time will tell. It's very high risk trading on a Monday right now because there's just no volume. Um, so anything can happen. It can get pushed and pulled by the whales. I wouldn't be surprised if we did come back and pull back to this area. That's why a lot of people are short at 28,300. To see what can happen from this level, you'd be in the money if you were short from that level. You know what I mean? But I, I see it just as a small pullback and a bigger push to the upside. I want to see the four hour touch the 21 day. I wouldn't. I want to see if this candle will close below the 200 SMA. And that's kind of what's happening to Bitcoin right now, getting a bit of a pullback. Don't be freaked out. Take a deep breath and realize all will be well. Okay. And let's move back. You know, just kind of jump out of the news for a second. Phantom will pay back 15% of the token fees to some projects. The move is part of an initiative to drive demand for block space which help add to the value proposition of phantom tokens. So phantom blockchain reward projects that utilize its network and contribute 
towards high usage of gas fees in a bid to derive increased demand for block space. Eligible applications applications will be rewarded 15% of the gas fees they produce, providing developers with a marginal extra income. This is part of a planned move called the DAPS Gas Monetization Program, which passed a community governance vote earlier this year. And we just went over Phantom and talked about it too as well, which is quite interesting, right? And that's going to be your news for the day. I hope you're excited about that. I hope you're uh, enthusiastic about what's happening in the market. And with that, let's bring back let's bring back the music, all right? As we're going towards the end of our show here in the last 25% of the show at 11:30. And again, we made massive like there was really good gains last night and into today. Super excited for the trading group, super excited for the future and what's happening. All right? Lena continues to push here on that 15 minute time frame. Um, and honestly, now Lena is kind of consolidating a little bit here. What I do is I backpedal a little bit. And so we held the 6% gain. Beautiful scalp. I mean, that's all you can ask for on a 15 minute scalp. But look, the shoulder head and the shoulder here for Lena showing signs of life. And now we can kind of put it in this bull pennant as it's getting tighter in the zone. Again, the 15 minute will have to reset. We could see a bit of a, a smaller reset, but I see a bigger move coming to that target for Lena. It's not over yet. Stop loss could also be shaved a little bit from the initial entry. And then this is another trade that we're looking at. You know, it would be a 273. We'd have to raise the stop a little more there to get it to a, oh, there you go. It's a 3.1 risk score ratio. And what's, why do we trade three to ones? I talk about this in my trading group all the time. It's proper risk management. If we trade this 10 times and we lose it seven times, we lose seven times 9.63. If we raise that to 10, that's a 70% loss right? But if we traded it three times and we won three times, three times 31 is 93, right? That's 23% more than the 70% we lost. So only winning three out of 10 trades, you'd still be up 20% on your portfolio. And that's why I use three to ones only for my risk management. And that's something that I teach in the trading group. We have that ready for you. The second you jump into the trading group, we teach you proper risk management. And we also teach you how to use a trading bot to kind of keep you going. And, it, and it's and it's it, you set up the bot and it's not really a bot like other people think, like it buys and sells for you. What it does is just moves your stop loss into break even, and it's on alt tradey. Alt tradey is really the place to do that and um, to keep you kind of situated in what's happening. All right, and kind of that's the end of the show today. Uh, let me see if there's any other things happening here, but I wanted to keep it short and sweet on Memorial Day, give people some time to be with their family and understand what's happening in the game. Have you all heard about Bank on Cardano? We already went over it in depth and talked about it. We told people how to buy it, where to buy it, how to get in, and showed you where it was on Tap Tools. So A to Ace, man, we're all over it, man. God bless you for bringing that up, all right? We already did the Bitcoin TA in depth as well. Um, we did Bitcoin TA as well, all right? Now you're going to be blocked for doing that. Yeah, I don't like people who do that. You're on timeout. You can come back in when you're not a little baby screaming with a toy. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Um, what will you be doing once the China market opens? I'll be dancing in my underwear in front of Omera. No, I don't know what I'll be doing, man. I'm, I'm just going to be trading like I always trade, just doing what I do every single day. Um, let's take a look at Conflux. Had a little bit of a sell-off there, but I've been watching this, and it's actually up a little bit. Let's redistribute our, uh, our lines here. But to me, Conflux is just getting tighter in the zone. You see this? And maybe it's by the rumor, sell the news. You never know. We could get sell sell off into China. Like I'm going to watch it closely, but the four hours resetting. Most of the market's going to reset with low liquidity today. You have to remember there's low liquidity today. It's not an average day. The stock market's also closed. Just be careful. Be wary. It's not the best day to trade. I just want to make that really, really clear. So I like Conflux in this inverted head and shoulder, likely getting a move to the upside. And I'm looking at it on the bigger time frame. All right. Daily's also a little overbought. Tells you, hey, hey, hey. So honestly, let me look at this again. The daily a little high for me personally. And we could say it already broke out of this. Or we could say it's in a bigger channel that it needs to kind of come back down. Yeah, that's why this actually may come back down for a better entry somewhere when the daily resets. Three-day chart looks okay. The two-day chart looks all right. But the moving average is a little too far apart for me. Looks like Conflux in, in and of itself may have to come back down and maybe even double bottom. Or retest this lower zone. I'd be looking for complex to probably get back. I don't, I'm not in this trade at all. I just want to make it clear. But maybe 21 cents looks like a better fair value area to be getting into conflux. All right. Everyone, thank you so much for being here. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Super chat, CGPT. I mean, this is a very low cap coin. 
that I begin to build a position in and anything could happen to this coin. Just be careful and be weary of it, right? I wouldn't like, you know, these are long-term holds for when the market really starts to rip up again. You may not be able to see these prices again. So I'm, I'm high risk on stuff like this. Previous resistance became new support. I see it in a falling wedge. The daily could continue to the upside. You don't have a lot on the daily though. Let's go to that four hour time frame and see what we're looking at. The four hour does look pretty good to me for a possible pump to the upside. Remember, it's low liquidity though. Let's see where Bitcoin lies. Let's watch where the market decides to sit. And then um, we'll eventually get a bigger move to the upside. You know, I see this coming down for a possible double bottom. So I'd be looking for this to yoink, yoink, come back to the double bottom, make our move and get a bigger gain to the upside. I'm still confident that this will probably end up being a pretty interesting coin in the long term. I like that it's like a chain GPT, like you can actually put things into blockchain and learn from it. It's the chat GPT of the blockchain. But they have to fulfill their ideas and, and fulfill their roadmap and continue to the upside. But, you know, so far, so good. After that massive run up, uh, we started trading this down here. Remember, I got in at about nine and 10 cents and this thing ripped all the way to 31, 28, came back down. I've been accumulating it on the lows just a little bit, not a lot um, for chain GPT. All right. And thank you to all the new members today. What a beautiful thing. We launched the membership and it got really, really awesome. Um, two billion more trading volume on Binance the last two hours. That's interesting. Uh, have a wonderful day, Lifer and Lifer fam. Love you and God bless. Happy trading. Before we go, make sure you smash that like button. Everyone, thank you for jumping on in. Please hit the likes. Let's get the likes up to the watchers. I would greatly appreciate it. We had about 500 people in the live stream, 312 likes. Um, what happens when you got a trade for the weekend that want to hit and close and we come to false move Monday? I mean, you got to do whatever makes you happy. You know what I mean? You're asking me to trade for you. You want me to put your hand over you and caress your hand? You want me to put your hand on the mouse? And like, it doesn't happen. You got to be your own man and your own woman and take control of your life. All right. Don't ask other people to open and close trades for you. All right. I'm also not a financial advisor. And I'm not going to do that. All right. So it is what it is. I made massive gains on hybrid today and I sold it. So I already made my trade for the day. I'm super happy. God bless each and every one of you for being here. May God see you through your next day. Remember, with the strength of God, everything will be okay and you'll be able to make it through. So I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Um, you know. Uh, and RIP to my dad, Jimmy Price. Will he be remembered forever on every live stream? And uh, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch you on the next live stream.